Hey everyone, welcome back to Agile Coder. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Phaser in React. Let's get started. Welcome back. So before moving in, I want to talk about what Phaser is. So Phaser is an open source game framework. There are tons of games out there that are built using Phaser. It is a light HTML based game framework that enables us to do a lot of things. And top of that, this is open source. So now let's talk about why React.js. So basically Phaser is already a great framework for creating games and React.js is currently the most popular JavaScript framework for creating UI interfaces. First of all, I'll create a directory which will be React Phaser's setup all right let me open it in a vs code so right now we have an empty directory here so what i can do is initialize a react project i can do that using this create react app command let's just wait for some time all right web vitals is causing some problems so anyways we don't need that right now i'm having some problems with my development environment right now so i'll just clean things up for the web vitals now things are working fine i'll remove some unwanted code and we'll put just app all right so this is it now what we can do is we can go to phaser and then go to resources and then getting started so for setting up a basic phaser game we need a config object config is nothing but a javascript object that governs the properties of the game or in fact you can say the canvas because phaser.js uses the canvas for rendering things and in the scene we are using this example scene so basically we have we can have different scenes for various purposes for example let's say in a game we can have scenes like the start screen the menu screen the game scene the results scene get the idea right so in this way we will be able to organize our code base so let's just copy the config all right i'll paste it in here one more thing that we have to do is we have to install a phaser dependency of course now that it's installed we need to import the phaser global object from phaser itself now it should not throw any errors example is not defined because we haven't added the example scene so this is the example scene and this is our config so right now we should be able to see the games but you know what we are seeing two instances of the same game so there is a problem right so this can be fixed by removing this react strict mode because in development environment react strict mode sometimes render things twice now that multiple rendering problem is solved but we have another problem when we inspect elements we'll see the canvas is outside of the div root basically so in react we do everything inside this root div but the phaser container is outside of it so which will cause problem eventually at, at a later point of time because we won't be able to put any styles or we won't be able to lay out the, this container properly when you search it online you might find a property called parent which will let's say i'll give it a name as phaser container and the same thing I'll give I'll create a div and give the ID exactly the same that I've given in the parent and if I reload the page now you might wonder this thing should work right so when you inspect the element you'll see the phaser container is inside div root which is what we want but the canvas is still outside so how do we fix this so we can fix this issue by creating a use effect hook here and then we'll create the game only when the component is mounted and when the component is unmounted what i'll do is i'll just clean up destroy true so now if i check the elements i'll see this div root and inside it the phaser container and inside it the canvas yeah so that's how you set up phaser in react so that you won't run into troubles that's it for this video i hope you find this video useful i'll be uploading more phaser and react videos on this channel so make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one peace